Good morning, children. How are you all? I am your English teacher, Swarna. Hope everyone is safe at home. Due to Corona, we are unable to open our school and we can't meet regularly. That's why we are conducting online classes. Children, hope everyone follow these online classes. Understood? Now, coming to our topic, our topic is nouns and verbs. Our first lesson is based on nouns and verbs. You learned about nouns in your second class. I think so. But maybe due to these small ideas, you forgot. I want to remember one thing. That is nouns. First, we have one poem that is nouns and verbs. But today we are not uh, describing or explaining about verbs. We are now taking only about nouns. Understood? Do you have a name? Yeah, you have a name. Also, I have a name. My name is Swarna. Your father, mother and everyone has a name. Understood? In our surroundings, everyone has a name. Is it right? This one we call as a board. Is it right? What is this? It is a watch. Yeah, it is a blanket. Okay, everything has a name. Understood? Now, coming to the names are divided into categories. Before that, I would like to explain the definition of a noun. Understood? Everyone look at the board. Okay. I give you an essay of question form to understand why. What is a noun? A noun is a naming word. What is this? A noun is a naming word. It can be the name of a person, an animal, a thing or a place. Understood? Means all the person's names, animal's names, things names and also places names we call as nouns. Understood? Very good. Again, everyone repeat after me in your mind. Although I can't listen your voice, but do it at home. What is a noun? A noun is a naming word. Simply we can say what is a noun? A noun is a naming. What are nouns? Nouns are naming words. It can be the name of a person, an animal, a thing or a place. Understood? Here I given some of the headings. See, naming word of a person, N means name, W means word of person. Naming word of persons, naming word of animals, naming word of things, naming word of places. Understood? No. Coming to naming word of persons, I given here three names. Lack of space, I given only three names. Those are Sunita, Ram, John, I gave. Here, you can join here your name, father's name, mother's name and your teacher's name and also your friends names also you can join. Understood? Here, coming to person's names means all the human beings names they belong to person's names. Understood? Next, coming to naming mode of animals means all the animals and birds names in this category nouns we call birds also animals understood here we can give all the wild animals domestic animals or pet animals all the names coming into naming word of animals understood tiger dog lion giraffe next some other animals 
zebra, you can say dog, cat, parrot, peacock, all the names coming into this category. What is this? Naming word of animals. Understood? Next. Third word, naming word of things. Means, in this only you can understand. Things means the objects we call as naming word of things. What is this? It is a board. Understood? Next. Chair, you can say birds, table, okay. In your surroundings, what you can see? All the things have some different names. Those names come into things, names. Understood? Things, okay. Things means daily day activities, your mother or father or you, some of the objects. Understood? From that, okay, your stationary things, mother goes at home or kitchen, she uses number of things we call as things. And also, some of the transportation we can say as things. Understood? These are called naming word of things. Understood? Coming to fourth word, naming word of places. Means, in these places, you can say countries names and also states names and also district names, towns names, cities names and villages names. And also in places names you can say places names means hospital you, uh, comes into places names. Hospital, park, school, playground, library and so on. Understood? Now, what we learn today? Today we learn about nouns. Understood? Coming to our textbook. Take your textbook. Open page number 4. Look at Nana. This is your volume 1 book. Third class, volume 1. Understood? Then, open page number 4. Hope everyone open your books. First one, okay, they gave a poem. What is that? It is based on nouns and verbs. Okay. Next, upcoming classes we will learn about verbs. But now we are learning about nouns. Now I have I given here definition and also I explained about nouns. Understood? Say this poem once everyone. And make sure everyone take your pencil also. Of all the things I know and love, like the earth below and the sky above. Of all the things I know and love, like the earth below and the sky above. The wind in the trees and the waves of the sea. All these the noun will name for me. The wind in the trees and the waves of the sea. All these the noun will name for me. Second stanza. The dolphin the whale and the fish bright. The lark at the dawn and the owl of the night. The dolphin the whale and the fish bright. The lark at dawn and the owl of the night. The fox in his den and the bird that springs. The naming non will name these things. The fox in his den and the bird that springs. The naming non will name these things. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Now today only I read out only two stanzas. Remaining two stanzas. Next class we will read out. Understood? In the first stanza, can you notice any uh, any things or any names which are related to our nature? Yeah, very good. Then take your pencil, underline earth, sky, wind, trees, waves and sea. Very good. Coming to second stanza, can you see or can you notice any animals' names? Very good. 
डॉल्फिन वेल फिश लॉक ऑल गुड फॉक्स बक ऑल दीज आर एनिमल्स नेम्स एब ऑल्सो वी हैव सम ऑफ द थिंग्स नेम्स अंडरस्टूड विच आर इन अवर नेचर अंडरस्टूड वेरी गुड इन दिस पोएम द पोएट वॉन्ट्स टू ट्राई अबाउट टू ही वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट नाउन्स अंडरस्टूड Mainly, it is based on the nouns. He want to explain, okay, all the things which are present in or available in our surroundings. He wants to. He wants to explain about nouns. Now, I want to explain the meaning of the poem. Understood? Of all the things I know and love, means which things do you love? You love your parents or your pet animals, your things, objects, or books, stationery, or in the nature, everything we like. Is it right? Stars, sea, moon, everything. Understood? Of all the things I know and love, means we know some of the things. We love those things. Understood? Like the earth below. What is there below? The earth below, which are we are living on that. Understood? And the sky above. What is that? Above. What is there above? Above heads. The sky is there. Okay. The poet wants to explain about the earth. On earth, we have number of things like waterfalls, rivers, mountains, and also hills. And also above. sky we can see star moon or stars moon and also sun and also clouds we can see is it right rain we can understood okay the wind in the trees the wind in the trees and the waves of the sea the wind in the trees and the waves of the sea do you saw The waves of the sea. Do we study beach? Yeah, it curls like this. Understood? Of all the noun will name for me. Of all these, the noun will name for me. Who introduce all the things through nouns only? We can know all these things. Understood? Oh, it is a sea. Means we are calling that sea as a sea. Means it is. It has a name. Understood? The sky. Its name is okay. Sky. And also Earth. Okay. We given some of the names, and also we are calling in first sentence of all the things I know and love. We know all these things, and also we like. Understood? We like everything in the nature. Second, coming to second stanza, the dolphin, the whale, and the fish, bright. The dolphin. Do you know dolphins? Yeah, very good. The whales. It is the largest animal. See, yes. What animal? Is it right? Largest animal in the sea. Understood. The fish bright. And also the lark at dawn. Lark. It is the one of the bird. It sings sweetly. The owl of night. Usually, the owl we can see at night times only. Understood? The fox in the in his den and the bird that springs. The naming noun will name these things. We know all these animals through their names. Understood? Okay. This is about our over two stanzas we explained today. Coming to okay. Okay, that's it, children. Coming to our worksheet. Look at words I given here. nouns what is a noun i given here definition as a question a noun is a naming word it can be the name of a person an animal a thing or a place understood here i given naming word of persons naming word of animals naming word of things and also places here i given some of the example further 
make sure everyone note it down and write this one one time if you know some of the names you can join here understood thank you children